This one? Okay. I'll go there and then meet you in the middle. He's going to knock and announce, and then he's going to go inside and check on our kids. We'll follow him in here. They're probably in this room. Sheriff's office at the door. So we do everything low key. We knock on the door. We don't want them to answer it. Sheriff's and then we'll the use door, our please. keys, and they'll come in, and then they'll just check on them low key. Sheriff's office coming in. Hi guys. And we would come in here, push the alarm. All the kids would go into lockdown. They don't know if it's real or not. And then as we were opening doors, even though we're knocking and announcing and using keys, right, I got teachers coming to the doors with bats, you know, or t chairs, right? We had one officer had a chair thrown at him, you know, caught him right across the nose, split his nose a little bit. So in a crisis situation, an active lockdown, real or not, the uh, high level of psychological trauma for students and staff have been outrageous, especially if you can't communicate with your staff and students within a drill or within a crisis situation. We've been able to connect all three of our emergency systems together to alert, to communicate, to utilize our technology of the Volcom systems. The Volcom system is so unique in the dashboard piece to the communication piece to everything that you can do, the display piece, and then just the connectivity of it, it kind of through that mothership of, of Volcom. It's, it's allowed us to put everything together to have a seamless transition into communication within our, our classrooms and, and into, into our buildings. And so one of the things you notice is our lockdown messaging, we've designed it so that it initially when it goes off, it plays an audible message for a minute. And then after that minute, it just converts to just a, a visual message on the board with the strobe or with the flashing lights. And that way we have the silent um, building. So as police officers or security personnel are responding into the building, it's not, they're not being distracted by uh, excessive noises that are coming in. We started working with Cherry Creek School District around 2017 to modernize their school infrastructure. So with that, we started working with their facilities group. Where we really took off and launched was when we started working with their physical security team and showed them all the capabilities of what we had within our product line. So initially we were just being used for bells and bell schedule and now we're used, we are the glue for all of their mass notification systems across all 78 of their schools. Again, some of these doors, a lot of these doors are on magnet releases so as soon as we hit our lockdown button we tie into that system too. So in theory, when the system is activated, these magnet doors should not be able to stay open. They all drop and then what we want to see is when those magnet doors drop, these doors should be locked and that keeps a corridor um, kind of locked down. So if we could kind of trap the intruder potentially in here, then they don't get access to that half of the building. It's a process of coming into a school district or coming into a new customer. And as you go through that process and engage in those conversations with with a customer, you build trust with that customer. That's something we have at Cherry Creek is we built that trust, you know, where we're their trusted advisor. So they look to us on how they can always innovate and improve their processes. As we started adding more Volcom systems, we now had a consistent way of building the emergency messaging, a consistent way to train. And then we started learning that things like school safe radios could be integrated into that. Our existing panic buttons from our alarm system, there was software that we could give multiple people access to so that we could have multiple redundancies in our alert system. And then after that, we started learning, okay, well, Volcom can then notify the right people when things are happening. So you can have faster response times. You can alert the right people outside of your district. What we're learning is time matters, consistent communication matters, accurate information matters. And so we can tie both the alert system, the response, and the aftermath communication piece all together. We now have a great big ecosystem of tools that really help us manage emergency crisis situations a little differently than we could before.